Hello from Bug Eye Guy. Today we're going to go for a drive in this modified 59 Bug Eye. So down the driveway from the Quonset Hut here after a bunch of improvements have been done and getting this car ready for a new home. It's a restored car and we've refreshed it. It came to us from New Mexico where it was uh, resting for a while. Um, it's been sitting for a couple years there and now it sounds wonderful. Here we go. This is a modified bug eye with a 1275 engine and a five speed transmission and a bunch of nice upgrades, a sway bar and an alternator, spin on oil filter, aluminum radiator, uh, later rear disc brakes, and it even has an audible turn signal. You can just hear in the background. A lot of people leave the blinkers on. Uh, it's easy to do. There's just a small warning light. And so this one is wired with a little, a little beeper like a motorcycle. So you have a reminder to turn off the blinkers. Very nice car though. Here we go to get some gasoline and take you on a drive. You can hear in particular there's a header and a great muffler, a great exhaust note. I think this car is modified just about perfectly. It's not over the top, it's very, very drivable, and it just sounds wonderful, which you should be able to hear right here. So what makes a bug eye like this so special? Well, you know, a 948 bug eye had 43 horsepower. This one probably has 65 or 70, maybe 70. But it is just a very tight and flingable little sports car. And that's what I love about it. And yet it has a vintage feel and looks that are unlike any other car, of course. And just the whole design and shape of the thing with no external door handles and no trunk lid. It just makes it into something that really is a fun toy to have. I think that's what keeps me so interested in these cars for all these years now that we've put about 250 of them out into the world. This one is just done right and it's tight and there's no lost motion and it's very direct and everything is short throw and you can get that from much more expensive sports cars but a bug eye is just simple and basic and vintage and tight and a great time. You don't go terribly fast which is just fine because you can't get into too much trouble and in that sense you're off and here you go. Now this one with that five speed, you can drop it into fifth gear as you'll see here, even though I'm not really going very fast or doing much, but you can loaf along in fifth gear just perfectly well. And it's nice because you can have a conversation with your passenger more easily, less wind noise, less engine noise. And yet you can rev it up if you like. You can even ship from fifth to third, which who would have ever thought you could do that in a bug eye. But with this five speed, it's buttery smooth and just a delight. This one has really good synchros. Here you'll see me get on it just a little bit up to about 4,200 RPMs. And so there's a lot of performance if you want to push the car, but you don't have to. I can, you know, I'm slowing down here into this little village of Stony Creek and you can loaf along just fine. So the car appeals to a really wide range of people. You don't have to push them hard. You don't have to go fast. If you want to play with it, you can. You can flip it around a little bit, really throw it into the turns and they're very strong unibody construction, very tight, and uh, just a very easy car to feel confident in so you can go out and play. This one also has a bullet mirror in the windshield stanchion, which is a nice upgrade. Uh, you don't have to drill any holes, and an ammeter and a stereo, a lot of good stuff. So this is a great car we have here at Bug Eye Guy, and thanks for coming for a drive with me today. I love this one and uh, you'll find it on our website. Now I'm at the beach, where else to go in your bug eye, and have a great day.